I'm Luca Chwekunda, a lecturer at Nortec, where I'm teaching or training students in heavy equipment repair. And in heavy equipment repair, we can either teach you in advanced hydraulics, basic hydraulics, or basic pneumatics, advanced pneumatics, and electro pneumatics. At the moment, I will demonstrate something where we can apply these electro pneumatics. In our circuit here, I've made a simple circuit where I will use electrical switches to trigger so that the cylinder will extend, then use a sensor to close that the, the cylinder to retain it back. So these applications can be used in so many ways. Machines in the industry, stamping industry, it presses, it reaches the sensor to go back or just opening and closing the doors. You just push, the, you open the door by pressing, but the door will close itself. After it reaches the end, then it will close that. So this is just a simple circuit. I have very few components here. This is a common where we have a supply. This one, we have two things in it, I would say. One, we can set the pressure here. Two, we are filtering also the air which is here and we drain the water. So when we have too much water, we will open this, it will drain down here. So the moisture is drained from here. Then this is supplying to this common block. From the common block, from any point now, we can tap to supply any unit of air this side. This is a direction control valve, which is electronically actuated. And this, in the case of fail safe, I can use it for self fail safe. I will push this sensor off. Off there, then I press that. So if I want it to go in, I have to press this override point here to go in. I'm overriding. Even if there is no power, I can override using this one. That's the importance of this. It's this is a direction control valve. Electronically control valve and it has an override um, component in it, which will now take in. Even if I push that to end, but I'll override this. Even if there is a failure somewhere, this happens on some machines, including drilling, drilling machines. As we are drilling, it can also you can also put this override so that when it is stuck, you can do this to come back in its position. Then the top part here, this is our transformer. This is our 240 volts. And this is the main switch here. We can switch it off on. So this two button, this is a push button. And this one, this button, when you push it in, it will be stuck in one position. But you can use it here. You can use it. You can connect it if you want to use another sensor so that you have two sensors operating this. But we just switch on this one. Then it supplies the other one. Then it will keep on running on off. Then we have also these others. And this one, more like a relay. On this, we can use it. There are other K1, K2, K3, which when we use this, we can put also, it can operate automatically also and do other circuits using this. It's very much used. Then uh, this one here, there are lights which will tell us that now this one is coming on. Have you seen, have you seen what's happening now? When it lights, it's going back, the light will be coming on and off. As long as the sensor is connected, it will trigger, then it will do that. So that we have the lighting, then this one is the same. This is for programmable logic control. We use it now. We can program this, what we are doing here, by connecting this. What I'm going to use is a direct switching for this one. But I can also apply it in direct switching. It will operate in the same way. Then um, I can also connect maybe electrical when it is extending, but then it closes the light or the bell or ring if something on. But just to start with, let me start with the basic part of this security so that you see how it operates. If I press the button here, the cylinder will extend. When it reaches on the sensor here, the sensor will, act, will connect it to return this cylinder inside. If I wanted, I would have used the two switches to press it to go out, again to press it to go in. But now I'm applying the, what, the sensor here, which will happen to help us that. And here we go. Switching on compressed air. It's on now. I have no leakages from it. Then I will put on power, which is on. 
then AVU connected everything. So I have air coming from my compressor, coming through this unit here. This unit is very important. It's where we set even the pressure at which we want to operate on. Then we have this common well, where we are supplying. We can connect different other sources from here to which we need air. So my first step, I'll now press the button and observe what happens with the cylinder. I've pressed my button. It has gone in. It's, I'm not doing this. So to prove that it's the sensor that is going in, I might shift the sensor very far away from this. Then I extend my cylinder. Then you'll see what will happen is that the cylinder won't go in. It will remain extended. But I can use my hand because the sensor will pick my hand. You see that? So it is sensing through my, my hands. It is triggering if I put it this way. You heard it? So again, I press, I go on. So that's how it is supposed to operate. Now we want it to be automatically on its own. Then I'll take back this somewhere where, if I don't want to extend too much, I'll push it somewhere here. So that immediately it touches a shorter period, then it will, it will come in on its own. If I want the stroke to be longer, I'll do that. This can be used also when you are um, stamping the leads. So when this cylinder will extend to press those buttons, really the point where it is not insulated where the sensor is, they need to know that this strength has closed the reeds, they need to, the reed will go up. So you just create the push bottles, you stamp, or stamping, then it will stamp, sticking, but at the same time, there is a sensor which is retaining that. So this can be used even on the vehicles. We can do that, we can use this sensor. When you don't close one, it won't run. Until you complete the circuit, then it will come on, then you can now start your machine for safety purposes.